Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Air Jordan 28s. So as you can see, it comes in this black box. It's actually just a sleeve. You got your Jordan logo right there. You got the 28 logo right there at the top of the lid. As you guys can see, give you a quick look at the label. It's officially called the Air Jordan XX8. XX which stands for 20 and then the 8 makes for 28. Um, the colorway is black, bright citrus, and cool gray. And the pair I have here is a size 9.5 US. The shoe itself has a suggested retail price of $250, which is pretty expensive, but for whatever reason, these things seem to sell out, even though apparently nobody actually likes them. So we'll take the sleeve out of here so you can get a look at the box on the inside. Just give me one second. There's these little tabs here that I keep forgetting about. So I'll pull this out here. Get this out of the way. It's actually very, very difficult to get that out of there. And then you do have this gray box on the inside. Again, Jumpman logo right there. And then you do have this kind of paint splash looking pattern on the top. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to match the pattern on the shoe itself. You open up the box and instead of paper, you'll actually find two very, very soft white Jordan brand dust bags. So um, they include two of these. They're individually wrapped. Um, it's kind of overkill, but I guess it's nice that you get that considering you do pay $250 for the shoes themselves. And uh, for the sake of the video, I'll get them out of the bags and we'll take a better look at the shoes themselves. Alright, here's a look at the Jordan 28s in the Phoenix Suns colorway. As you can see, the colorway itself kind of mimics the look of the Jordan 8s with the cross strap through the middle here, as you can see. Um, it's kind of abstract, if you will, but definitely gives the shoe a very, very unique look. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking at this particular shoe and asking yourselves, what the heck are those? Especially if you've never heard of or seen the Jordan 28s. And basically, if you don't know much about Jordan brand shoes, uh, Michael Jordan is probably the most one of the most popular athletes in the world. And ever since he first started, he signed with... Nike and they gave him it would eventually turned into Jordan brand basically but he's had a signature model um, for 28 years in a row now so from 1 to 28 every single year Jordan brand puts out a brand new Jordan and uh, obviously for 2013 that was the Jordan 28 and it's been received to some pretty mixed opinions based on how it looks and of course people judge things on how they look and a lot of people I would say most people actually absolutely despise the look of the Jordan 28 and it definitely is an acquired taste. It's not something that you should like or you shouldn't like based on what other people think. You have to have your own opinion at some point. Um, but this is one of those shoes that when I first saw it, I completely understood what they were going for. The Jordan series of shoes, to me, what really makes them unique is the distinction from each individual model and not just in comparing all 28 models of the Jordan series, but also in comparison to other shoes that have been released from other brands. You can always tell a Jordan model apart from any other shoe. They have that distinctive design element about them, and I think that the Jordan 28 definitely has that. Again, it's not for everybody, and even though everybody says that they don't like them, for whatever reason, they always sell out whenever they release a new colorway. I've been trying to get a pair for a long time now. They haven't come out in Canada at all, and even if they did, I'm sure the retail price would be absolutely crazy. But I finally managed to get a pair online in one of the, in this particular colorway, which is one that I was actually looking to get for myself. And overall, I have to say that I'm really kind of, I can't say I'm in love with this shoe, but I really kind of am intrigued about the technology and the idea and the concept behind the Jordan 28. So obviously what makes this shoe so unique is the shroud that gives it this kind of, almost boot like look instead of a basketball shoe and it does have a zipper going through there you can see I have it folded down on this side so you have pretty much endless amounts of options as far as how you want to wear these things you can zip them up all the way to the top you can zip them up part way down you can fold it over there you can zip them all the way down it's really up to you and I'll kind of show you some more options when I do the on feet portion of the video but overall it's kind of a unique way of making a shoe in that you can wear it different ways and it will look differently depending on how you want to wear it. The shroud itself from what I can tell really doesn't do anything in terms of performance. Um, it's there pretty much strictly for looks and it gives them the freedom to pretty much put whatever kind of pattern they want on there. It's just printed on onto this very very soft material. It's a lot softer and thinner than I was expecting it to be. I'm not sure how breathable it is but it definitely has a unique look about it. It's very very soft almost has like a I don't even know what I would call this type of material, but it's just very, very smooth, very fine, and it just feels really, really nice. You do have a little bit of fuse going over top of the toe there. As you can see, it still is a performance product. And one thing that I haven't seen in any of the videos or pictures online is that there is actually a seam here 
on the instep and it's something that I didn't notice until or didn't even know of until I had the shoe in my hand. So that's kind of a bummer. I think it looks a little bit cheap to have that stitch right there. But of course they couldn't make the shroud entirely one piece. It would be next to impossible. Um, but that is there. Just keep that in mind if you are interested in getting a pair at, of these at some point. On the inside of the shroud it is white as you can see. And you have your 2-3 logo. Um, depending on how you want to look at it, it's either a 2 or a 3 to stand for the number 23, obviously Michael Jordan's number. Just to talk more about the outside of the shoe itself, you do have your carbon fiber, carbon fiber heel counter sorry, um, on both sides, these two little kind of segmented pieces with your orange jump man on this particular colorway. You can see a little bit of carbon fiber peeking through the midsole right there as well on both sides, not only on the outside of the forefoot, sorry. And then of course you can see a little bit of the flight plate through the middle. It is a split outsole as you can see. The midsole itself has this kind of wavy pattern and it's in gray on this particular shoe with the um, sole itself or the outsole being made of a, a rubber material with um, kind of like a bluish color. It's like a, I don't even know what you would call it. It's kind of a, a combination of blue and purple almost like an indigo I guess. You can see the flight plate there is in all carbon fiber and you do have your Jumpman logo right there in orange with the flight plate branding. Of course this is all for performance reasons. You do have this kind of little cutout there. There is actually Zoom Air um, pads right there at the base of the sole and actually it's on the on the outside of the sole as opposed to on the inside of the shoe which is somewhat unusual. They call it unlocked Zoom Air and it's kind of an unusual way of doing things but it actually does feel really really good and the cushioning on this shoe just from wearing them around the house a little bit is pretty incredible. Um, as far as the inside of the shoe goes I'll give you guys a little look at that roll down the shroud here. You can see that it's actually very very thin. It's much more minimal than you might expect. You can't really tear it off. It's pretty much glued on there all the way around but you can see on the inside it's a very very thin you got these little fingers here with the lace it's kind of like a lace loop as opposed to um, a lace hole or something like that and it's somewhat unusual it's all tied into these individual fingers so when you do pull it tight it really does lock your foot in place and hold everything down um, there are these little kind of Achilles pads on the inside you're going to not be able to see it really because it is a black shoe but they're in there again to lock your heel in place the tongue itself is black with your bright orange Jumpman logo there very, very cool. You do have a pull tab as well in black. And that's pretty much it to show as far as what you can see on the inside of the shoe. Um, the zipper itself is very heavy duty for those of you guys that are worried about that breaking on you. Um, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, it's a pretty heavy duty zipper and it's got this kind of very heavy, almost rubber like material around the outside just to ensure that it's not going to rip or tear from the shroud. And like I said, the zipper itself just feels very, very strong. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. You got this kind of little... Um, almost like this little unique knot here to make up the end of the zipper or the pull part on the zipper itself. Um, kind of a unique look and overall just a very very interesting shoe. If you wear these you're definitely going to turn some heads. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And to move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look. Alright here's a look at the Jordan 28's on feet. You can see I have the shroud done up two different ways. On my right foot, I have the way that I would probably wear them casually with the shroud kind of folded over and the laces left undone and it's completely unzipped. I think that looks the best personally for casual wear, but a lot of the guys in the NBA are wearing them with the shroud completely zipped up to the top, which personally I think looks a little bit goofy, especially for casual wear. They end up looking more like boots than basketball shoes, but again, to each their own, it's however you want to wear them. I do find that when the shroud is done up all the way, they do feel a little bit more supportive overall. Not sure why that is probably due to the little bit of extra ankle support that you do get here. And it's actually surprising that a thin shroud like that does provide that much extra support. But in terms of casual wear, definitely shroud folded over, I think looks the best. Um, the comfort of the shoe is really, really nice. They're really comfortable. Um, I'm actually surprised at how comfortable they are. And they absolutely do run true to size. I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US here. And the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. Um, one thing to note that zipping up the shroud is really tight. It fits a lot closer to the foot than you might expect. And you kind of have to pull in both sides to make sure that um, they actually fit. I'll just unzip it for you on camera so you can get a better idea as to how it actually does work. You can see that is the shroud unzipped. And then zipping it up, it just doesn't, it's not very easy. The zipper is really, really strong. And you kind of have to pull them together and then zip it up for it to work. Um, so there's a look at the shoes on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. And we'll take a look at these next with a pair of pants. All right, here's a look at the Jordan 28s on feet while wearing a pair of pants. Due to the unique nature of the shoe itself, it's probably not something I would wear casually with a pair of jeans, but with a pair of black sweatpants like I have on right now, I think the shoes look pretty good. Um, no matter how you want to wear them with the sleeves kind of 
um, covered up by your pants as you guys can see or again with the kind of shroud folded down just depends on what you like the look of again I still think the folded down look looks the best overall with the Jordan 28s but again to each their own everybody likes something different and it's really up to you as to how you want to wear them so that's pretty much it as far as what the Jordan 28s look like on feet and I'll leave you to my final thoughts all right guys, that's it for my review of the Air Jordan 28s. Everybody has their own opinion on this shoe. I'm sure you left your opinion down below in the comments already. If you didn't, leave it. I'd be curious to hear what you think of this particular shoe, especially if you're one of those people that's never seen it before. I love the shroud. I love the adjustability that it brings. It lets you wear the shoe in so many different ways. And in terms of the shoe's comfort, it is incredibly comfortable and you definitely can tell that it is performance oriented. The flight plate on the bottom is definitely impressive technology. And the look of the carbon fiber alone really sold me on the shoe. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as my review goes, guys. Um, unfortunately, if you do want to get a pair of these, your best bet is going to be eBay. Um, for the most part, they have been selling out with every new colorway release. And even at the $250 retail price, supposedly everybody doesn't like this shoe, but they always seem to sell out. So eBay is going to be your best bet if you are looking to get a pair for yourself. In the meantime, if you would like some high quality images, just to get a better idea as to how the shoe actually does look in person, be sure to check out the review page linked down below in the description that you'll find on my website. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. All of my social media links can be found down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.